I'm Brock Yehawa, Brakatha, Yehawa Shah, Brock Yehawa, Brakatha, Yehawa Shah, Baha Sham, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Sensual Nate. Lord will you are edified. It was a Tesco to Africa, India, and they want to bring that here. So back in Revelation 13 and 17. He looks like a prophet. He's teaching out of the scriptures. Because the question, how could they try to force the saints? To He's been doing this for years, correct? Sin fight, through finances. Those that are weak and give up, read verse 17 again. So it seems that he's conducting himself uprightly. And that no man might buy or sell, uh -huh. save he that had the mark. You had to be involved in their sin. If they see brothers teaching on the street, find them. Go into their bank account, take money out. Boop, boop, boop. That's what, that's what they do. Now you have no food. This, they try to bend us to make us do what they want. That's what the Bible's prophesying about. Go ahead. Oh, it's good. But... According to the doctrine of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, he's going off. He broke that down incorrectly. And again, the title for this video is Sensual Nate. Okay. Let's go to Jude. One and seventeen. But Beloved, remember you the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Case in point, Nate allegedly has a net worth of a hundred and fifty million dollars okay now if you compare his net worth with Yahweh Shah's net worth it's total night and day according to the scriptures Yahweh Shah became poor so we could receive spiritual riches as well as the rest of the apostles. However, Nate started off poor and became extremely rich. Okay? It's not adding up. So, if we take that in consideration, we can associate Nate walked after his own ungodly lusts going into the desires of the world and whatever they may be. Verse 19. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. So Nate has separated himself sensual not having the spirit when we focus on sensual Strong's G 5591 Psuchikas Psuchikas according to outline of biblical usage 1a having the nature of and characteristics of the breath. So from the outside looking in, Nate appears to be a man of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, if you are spiritually ignorant. However, based on his hair being lined up and the doctrine he pushes, the spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah is not dealing with me. 
and therefore he's not governed by the breath. And the breath is the Holy Spirit, which is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. So again, Nate is not in a spiritual state. He's in a sensual state, right? Again, having the nature and characteristics of the breath. He doesn't have the breath. All right. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37 and verse 8. And when I beheld, referring to Ezekiel, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up on them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. All right. And we can associate Nate to the scripture. So yes, he knows he's an Israelite, but at the same time frame, he doesn't have the breath going into what? The Holy Spirit going back into what? Jude. One and 19. He's not governed by the Holy Spirit or the breath. He has the nature and characteristics of the breath, but he doesn't have the breath. Second Timothy 2 and 15, study to show yourself approved unto the Most High. A workman, meaning another classification for a prophet, that need not to be ashamed. Why? Because you have studied, all right? You have studied, you have studied, and therefore... Over the process of time, you have been approved through your studies. However, we must still be inspired by the breath, right? That is the Most High's inclination that he's dealing with us, right? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Again, study to show yourself approved unto the Most High, a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. See, another title for the scriptures is the word of truth, and we must rightly divide it. According to the Greek, for rightly dividing. Strong's G, 3718, Arthur Tameo. And according to the outline of biblical usage, to, definition to, to make straight and smooth, to handle aright, to teach the truth directly and correctly. When it came to Revelation 13 and 16, Nate broke that down wrong. And also, most importantly, he doesn't push the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. He don't push those names. 
and he doesn't say the phrase Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. He comes in the name of Christ or Jesus, which is another indicator that he's not governed by the breath. John 7 and 38, and these are the words of Yahweh Shai. He that believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of his mind shall flow rivers of living water. And Nate doesn't have that. Living water is also another classification or title for the Holy Spirit, right? Strong's G, 2198. Zao. Zao. And according to outline of biblical usage, two-way. To have true life and worthy of the name. And I will say names. To have true life and worthy of the names. This is more proof that the spirit is not dealing with me. First John three and twenty two and whatsoever we ask we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Mashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. So a commandment is believing on the names. Again, sensual Nate. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.